Week 1. It's just emotion. Hello, how are you today? I hope you're doing fine. Are you ready to learn sign stuff? Great! But before we start our lesson, I want you to prepare yourself as well as your materials necessary for your study. Try to find a nice and comfortable place inside your home where you can focus with your lesson. For this week's lesson, we're going to answer three questions. Number one, what is speed, distance, and motion? Number two, how to compute speed and velocity of an object? And number three, how to solve simple problems regarding speed of an object? What is speed, distance, and motion? Are you familiar with these illustrations? Where do we usually see this? So based on the pictures that we have, the two pictures demonstrate motion. It changes position over time compared to a reference point. So what is speed, distance, and motion? Speed, it measures the motion of an object. It has two elements, distance, which is length, and time. The formula of speed Speed is equals to distance over time or speed is equals to d over t wherein distance is the measurement of the space between object and time is the amount it takes an object to travel a certain distance. Speed use the standard unit meter per second. Distance can be determined by the length which measures the distance from one point to another. The standard unit for distance is meter. A meter stick or a ruler is used to measure the length of an object. For time, the standard unit for time is seconds, which can be determined by a stopwatch, a device used to measure time. When you apply unbalanced force or force that are not equal in size to any object, the object will move and change its position. Object move because of the applied force which is present. A falling object, for example, is in motion because of the force of gravity. When you combine direction with the speed of a moving object, that is already a velocity. A reference point is a steady object or place that determines whether an object is in motion. The function. Here are the units used for distance and time. For distance, we have centimeters, meters, kilometers, and miles. For time, we have seconds, minutes, hours, days, and years. For distance, Centimeter is used to measure short distances that can be measured by a ruler. For a longer distance, kilometer is being used. For time, seconds is used for shorter time being consumed, while hours is used for a longer time. How to compute the speed and velocity of an object? How to compute the speed? To get the speed of an object, we need to follow the formula of speed, which is speed is equals to distance over time or speed is equals to d over t. For example, it takes a car 30 seconds to go 90 meters. What is the speed? Don't forget to write the given. The speed is unknown, which is the s. The distance, which is D is 90 meters, and T, which is the time, is 30 seconds. For the solution, write the given formula. S is equals to D over T. Then replace the given on the formula, which is S is equals to 90 meters divided by 30 seconds. By dividing the given numbers, we have the speed of 3 meters per seconds or 
speed is equal to 3 m per sec for the unit used in speed. How to compute the velocity? Velocity, a measurement of speed together with direction, follows the formula V is equal to D over T, wherein V stands for velocity and D stands for distance and T stands for time. For example, it takes a car 40 seconds to go 80 meters towards north direction. What is the velocity? Given V, which is the velocity, is unknown, D, which is the distance, is 80 meters, and T, which is the time, is 40 seconds. To solve this problem, we need to follow the formula of velocity, which is V is equal to D over T. Replace the given numbers on the formula, which is 80 meters divided by 40 seconds. So the velocity of the car, 2 meters per second north or 2 m per sec north. How to solve a simple problems regarding speed and velocity of an object? How to solve a simple problem about speed and velocity? Number one, know first what is asked in the problem. Derivation of formula can be used depending on what is asked in the given problem. Number two, use the appropriate formula for a given problem. And number three, check the units if they are correct. I hope you learned a lot from our today's lesson. See you again in our next one.